Israel-Hamas war. His sons, just 20 and 21 years old, left L.A. Saturday to fight on the ground with the Israel Defense Forces. My son's commander was killed Saturday night, so that's the situation there. They're there now. They're already... Uh, in combat. Their father doing okay. his part by organizing a grassroots effort back at home where hundreds have answered the call to help. But I, I have to put in my work the same way my boys are putting their work. His work here has ran into its own find passengers flying on LL into Tel Aviv. Are you guys going to Israel? Avi Landisman is a 35-year-old father from West LA. Instead of dropping his boarding a flight. But, you know, we're going with a mission and with a purpose. It's the right thing. It's the, it's, it's the only thing. He'll be joining Sunday. He will see his one girl at home here, but I want to make sure that they have a safe country to come home to. I'll be back. I love them. Until I'm not needed, I'm going to stay. This LL flight, completely full, could not take all of the boxes. We're in a dark place, but each box is a, a, a touch of light. So it is back to the drawing board once again for Ayal as the terror in his homeland rages on. All those victims are my brothers and sisters. This is what I... And stay with KCAL News for continuing coverage of Israel at war. We're going to follow all the developments as Israel gets ready for the expected ground invasion of the Gaza Strip. An LAPD officer arrested in a bizarre case back in 2019 has now learned his fate. KCAL assignment editor Mike Rogers now at the desk. And Mike, this officer was accused of disturbing the dead. So what did the judge have to say about that today? Yeah, Amy and Jasmine, this was back in 2019 when Officer David Rojas responded to an apartment in the downtown L.A. area on a report of a death investigation. Well, when he got there, the LAPD alleges he inappropriately touched the woman's body. Now, we'll show you some video of when Rojas was in court. He was ultimately charged in a felony here by the DA's office after a random, uh, investi after a random check of body camera footage by his supervisors led to the discovery. Now, in court, he had uh, said, yes, I had my body camera on. I knew was being recorded. He claimed uh, that he saw something on the body which led him to touch it. Now, uh, detectives that testified against him said that it's not standard procedure at all. Once a person is determined to be dead, it is up to the medical examiner to uh, do anything with the body from that point on. Now, uh, against the prosecution's objections today, a judge ordered Rojas into a mental health diversion program, saying that he was eligible and suitable for that 18-month program. Now, uh, as we come back out here to the desk, after the arrest, the uh, LAPD Chief Michael Moore said that Rojas was placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. I have emailed the LAPD to ask what his future holds, if he will remain employed by the department, or if he has been terminated as a result of this. Uh, so far, they have not gotten back to me, Amy and Jasmine. All right, Mike, thanks so much. A star-studded celebration to mark year two of a local program that trains students to be the next Hollywood superstars. What's up, Raybo? Uh, that's actresses Carrie Washington and Eva Longaria hosting the event, honoring the Royal School of Film and Television Production Magnet. It was founded by George Clooney to provide access to Hollywood storytellers and industry professionals. The Academy targets students from underserved communities. To the talent uh, that is represented here today, yes, we knew you before we met you, but now we know you better through your hearts, your dedication, and your selfless contribution to the possibility that public education brings to the young people of our community. 
Administrators expect the academy to impact nearly 500 students over its first five years. Jazz? You know, there's a new billionaire right here in Southern California, and everyone in Fraser Park hopes it's someone local. The ticket was sold at, at Midway Market.